Hello everyone. On this third lesson, we're going to see how to clean this a bit. Uh, first, what we call A last time, we know that it's a min rand or rand min. And what we call B, we know that it's rand max. So first, always have a good naming convention to be sure that all the things that you put make sense because if you put here like a b it's going to be weird so apply you can see how they change it and now i have again the values that i needed right so now we have remember here we had a map the map was the length and the length is driving by the actual length that we put here. So if I had already, or a guide system, or if I already have some, let's say 10 value, increment of 0.5, if I already have some changes in the size of this room, let's say that this part is long larger, and that this part minus 0.5, length of one and this part is shorter here remember that we are not controlling the actual length because we took the map off right we can take one map from here if I'm correct and let's paste this map first and the name was linked, right? The name of the folder. And I think that I don't need this part, just like this. And let's take that off. So the map room linked, apply. Hmm. Uh, what was the name of the folder again? was my mistake. I always do that mistake. Okay. So now we do have the values here. Maybe I can even make it smaller. So you can actually see a bit better point two. How this will work. So it had it here. It's too small now. Point five. Point five. much better. So we have our length and now we need to add or we want to add a random length on top of the length that we already have here. So what we need to do is again put a name to the map. So my map is going to be a length map equal and it's not going to work if I don't put the dollar sign. So I declared that the length, I put it wrong again, the length map, it's going to be that. And now again, I need to declare because I took it off. I forgot to add the actual values. It's going to be mean rent equals to one semicolon. And apparently I forgot to put the semicolon here. If you declare correctly one expression and you don't see the widget here, it's because you forgot to do something on the line between or the line around. So mean, rand, rand, mean, rand, mean, a value of one, and hashtag 0 0.00 to a value of 4.00. Now I copy this one and put it on the next one. And this one is going to be rand max right and now we are going to use the values so we are going to declare the actual rand so rand length I put it so I'm going to declare this one that is going to be my rand this time as a variable so rand why because I'm going to use the rand texture that I'm creating here later so rand 
min rand max, right? And we close the actual bar. So rand length has a name, length map has a name. And my rand min and rand max are here. So rand min and rand max are driving the texture random and that texture driven by them, it's called rand length. Now we need to mix both. For that, I just need to make a basic operation. What? It's the length or the map plus or multiply it by or divide it by the run texture. So it's this map here. Multiply it, right? Per this map here. So it's a basic multiplication of A plus B. You can do A plus B, A minus B, A divided by B. So you can actually uh, create the variations that you want, or you can even create like two, two. You can even do things more, slightly more complex on the actual uh, operations. But this is the basic operation multiplied by one value. So the blacks, the dark values here gets into this and the result is darker values are going to be applied. And again, remember when I told you that I didn't need to put anything else because it was an operation, the last operation on rand A plus B, right? Or B plus A. I don't need to add a semicolon here because it's the last operation. I'm not declaring a variable here. So I hit apply and you can see how we have a map. The map that we had before, it's been affected by the noise texture that we created here. You can see your noise texture, how it's been multiplied by the actual texture that we had before. And the result is here. We have the actual map that we had before, and it's been multiplied by the operation that we did. So the length has our map that is here and also has the actual rand min that you can see here and the actual rand max. So we can control both values and we can have the actual value that we had before without affecting anything else. So we can remain and have the same length values, the same curve or guide curves that you have. And you can declare the operators to multiply, to divide, or even to sum. So if I divide, it's going to be the inverse value. So you can see here, it's inverted the values. If I sum them up, you can see the result. Now it's a sum. So it's adding completely towards the values with a random value. And I can put a minus here. And you can see how it's removing completely the value. So if I put a minus and move, you can see how the value gets removed completely from the actual value that we have. And this part is more like for environments. If you divide off, you want to cut something. And remember that you can add a lot of things here and it can be a great modifier. So that's how you work with that kind of expression. And it's really, really powerful because you can link the amount of maps that you actually want to link, making it extremely powerful to control.